Hello and welcome back to the Scottish Man to Man channel and to part two of our epic sea fishing and camping adventure. In part one, we fished rough ground through the night and were rewarded with a pollock and a couple of small sharks. At the end of part one, we had decided to try and get some sleep before the best time of day for a spinning session, but I couldn't sleep so I decided to pick up the spinning tackle and go for a cast anyway. And then this happened. Yeah, I've got an actual fish on here. I've been doing a little bit of spinning. Reese is fast asleep. Oh, it's a good fish, this. I'm bloody knackered as well. Again. <clears throat> it's coming up now. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Yeah, I'll take that. Better keep this or Reese will kill me. I think he's hungry. Knowing Reese was looking forward to catching Cook for lunch, I thought I'd give him a bit of a surprise. Let's see what he's got to say about breakfast. Woo! <laughs> now, are we eating this one? Yeah. Yeah, right. We did. Holy spinner. Yeah, man. Great fight there. Did it nail it like? No, it kind of slurped it as it was on its way down. That's a belter of a fish. With our lunch sorted, I want to get back down to the water's edge for a few more casts. Yeah, fish on. Fish on. Fish! There you go, that'll wake Reese up. This one doesn't feel particularly big, it's not digging in and fighting like the last couple have. But it's got some nice head shakes there. Another pollock. It's a belter. Another beautiful fish. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Took a bit closer in that one. The morning spinning session had been great fun and had filled us with confidence for the day ahead, but we were exhausted and decided to get a couple hours sleep before lunch. Ah, he came off. We were both feeling refreshed and hungry, so it was time to make lunch using the pollock I'd caught that morning. 
I had planned a simple and tasty meal for us that would give us plenty of energy for the rest of the day. As I gathered ingredients for our catch and cook, Reese collected some fire lighting materials to start the fire that I would cook over. It's worth pointing out at this point that we were using a small, portable and lightweight barbecue for our fire, as this is the safest method of outdoor wild cooking. It reduces the risk of causing a wildfire and also prevents us scorching the ground. Once the coals had heated up, I put my cast iron pan on to heat. I began by dicing some onion and adding it to the pan with some vegetable oil to brown them off. Then, I diced a few potatoes and added them to the onions. I like to use Maris Piper potatoes as they go nice and crispy on the outside and fluffy on the inside. To the potatoes and onions, I added a generous helping of chopped garlic and I would keep mixing the potatoes to achieve an even cooking. A makeshift foil lid would help trap in steam and soften the potatoes. With the potatoes just about cooked, I would put them to the side to cook the fish before then returning them to the heat before serving to get a crispy texture. I carefully began to fillet the pollock, keeping the knife as close to the bone as possible. Then I would remove the skin from the fillets. I trimmed the fillets down and seasoned them with smoked salt and pepper. As I was cooking the fish over hot coals, I wanted to protect the delicate meat by wrapping it in some smoked streaky bacon. I carefully wrapped the fillets and they were ready to be cooked. Cooking over a high heat is important, so the fish will cook evenly and quickly. The fish cooked in no time at all, and I put the potatoes back on the coals to heat up. It was now time to serve lunch. This really is a simple dish that anyone can cook on a camping trip, and after a long night of fishing, we were both ready for a good feed. As we stuffed our faces, a couple of visiting anglers arrived at the mark to fish for the day. And we said a quick hello as they passed us by. After finishing our meal, we go back to fishing and then one of the anglers I'd been chatting to had landed a pair of beautiful Balam Ras. So I went to go inspect. That's an absolute stunner of a fish. I can't get over how pretty they are. Wow. It's a wee fish, but strong. Ooh. Ah, gee, right they in get in you. Right in there. That's incredible. Ooh. Easy tiger. As I appreciated the beauty of these fish, I was interrupted by the sound of my bait rod that I'd just cast out rattling around on the stand. Dog! Yeah. Big circle hooks. Big circle hooks and a wire trace. Well, hopefully it should be very nicely hooked here. Yes. That's about right in the middle of the two we had last night. The first one was tiny. Yeah. Oh, I wish everyone was hooked like that. That's the first one I've seen. Oh really? Aye, I am yeah. person? Uh -huh, yep. Oh, feel free to have it. I mean, you've got to watch. They are wriggly and the sandpaper, mm -hmm. if they grind your arms, it's really nasty. Years but... ago, furniture makers used to skin them and use the skin as sandpaper. Really? Yep. Uh, well, the funny thing is, I've been, years ago. I've been told these are really good eating, but yep. you have to skin them as soon as you catch were them. They, so were they not? Uh, that's uh, how rock, you're... Rock salmon or something they used to be Rock salmon, yeah, exactly. So that's how they suggest hold them uh -huh. behind the head and then pinch yep. the tail and curl them around. There we are, buddy. Woo! It's amazing what landing a fish does to your uh, morale, eh? <laughs> yep, we're in. There we go. Let's see what we've got today. What are you betting? I'm seeing dogfish again. Here it comes. It's 
It's the smallest dogfish you've ever seen. Welcome to the dog fight. How did that even register? Well, very sensitive tip. That's what she said. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> I almost had you. Almost had my fingers. See you, bud. There he goes. We fished on through the day, landing a couple more small dogfish. And then, as the visiting anglers were packed up and ready to head off, we took a break to have a good long fishing chat. So, you lads getting packed up? <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure meeting you. I never actually caught your name. I never actually caught your name, mate. I'm John. John, Finn. 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 Finn, like a shark. I was born to fish, man. <laughs> It's always nice to bump into other passionate anglers on a trip like this as you get the chance to share some knowledge, some stories and some tips. John and Ryan were both great company that afternoon and both managed to land some respectable fish themselves. But eventually it was time for them to head off and leave Reese and myself to keep fishing. Hey, lads, have a good right. night. Pleasure meeting you guys. Nice Safe journeys home. Thank you. See you later. A short time later, I had a subtle bite on the rod, and I landed a fish I've been waiting to catch for a very long time. Holy f I've been meaning to cross this one off the list for ages, man! Yes! <laughs> yes! Absolute yes, man! Well, there's the highlight of the f day. Woo! I was absolutely delighted I'd managed to tick the cuckoo wrasse off my fishing bucket list. This is what I love about sea fishing. You never know what might happen next. We fished on into the evening with a few stolen baits and the odd snag, but the old faithful dogfish wasn't about to let us down. As the sun began to slowly set behind us, Reese had picked up the spinning gear once again. Reese was rather chuffed to have ended our session with a great pollock like this. Soon after, the mist had rolled in off the sea and the fishing went dead. So we decided to pull the gear in and get some rest before the journey home. It had been a fantastic weekend with some brilliant fish, amazing company and some very tasty food. Thank you very much for joining me on this adventure. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like and remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications to catch all my future adventures. A big thank you to Reese for joining me and putting up with me shoving a camera in his face for two days straight. I can't wait for our next trip together, bud. But for now, tight lines and take it easy.